welcome back to my channel. This is Jamie with That's Incredible. Today we are going to be working with some acetate and making some cards. So the stamps that we will be using today are, oops, I did it again from Fun Stampers Journey and I have the coordinating die. We will also be using this little boy from My Favorite Things. This stamp set is called Puddle Jumper. And then last but not least, this is Pink and Main Need Coffee. So I thought those would be cute to start off with for today. And then I have some sheets of acetate here that we will be using on the front of our card. So first off, I want to start by getting some Nina Solar White cardstock, 80 pound. I prefer this when coloring. And my stamp platform. So I'm going to stick my whole sheet of cardstock in here because I like to get all of my coloring done first and then I can go ahead and um, cut everything and then just assemble my cards at the end. Now I don't do a lot of fancy coloring, but I do enjoy it. And we will be using this little boy. Get him put down. Now I'm going to be stamping all of these twice so that I can fussy cut them so that I have two of the images. There we go. Oh, I might have to wait on that one. That one's a rubber mount. Okay. First, I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink that is Copic friendly. I'm going to ink up my two images here. And I'm going to do it one more time so that I have a nice, crisp lines. All right. Then I'm going to rotate my paper. And I'm going to just stamp those again just so that I can fussy cut those out for the back side of my images and you'll understand what that's about later on in the video. I won't be coloring these ones, I just need the outline shape. All right, set those over here. Next I'm gonna wash these off with a baby wipe now so that I can peel them off of my platform and I'm going to stamp my little blowfish here but I need to rotate my platform to the rubber side there we go and the one I'm going to be coloring I will be stamping twice so that I get a nice crisp image. There we are. And then the one I'm going to just have for the background, I am going to just stamp once. There we are. Alright, well I'm going to be coloring these. Um, I will list the Copic color choices on the screen and then you may feel free to copy if you would like and we will listen to some music and watch me color so here we go
done coloring and cutting. So now it is time to start assembling our three carts. Start out with is the little girl with the coffee. So we're gonna set these other images aside. And the papers I've chosen are, we have this pink that is from Paper Studio, and this is Powder Pink from Stampin' Up. So I'm going to cut, this is going to be my card base, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. There we go. Oh, that's four and an eighth. Oh, that's, no, nope, that's four and a quarter. I was right. Okay, go ahead and set that to the side for a second. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder. There is my card base. Now, with the front of my card base, which this is the front, I am going to trim off. So this is four and a quarter, and I think I'm going to trim it down to where I only have about three quarters of an inch there. So I'm lining up this fold line on the three quarter of an inch mark and I am cutting that part off. While I have my cutter out, I'm going to trim this paper down to four by five and a quarter. And then I also would like this pattern to be on that flap, so I'm gonna cut that down to just under three quarters of an inch, and then just under five and a half inches. And then that will adhere nicely right there. Okay, set that aside for a second. And I'm going to, this is gonna be my card, the inside of my card. And then I will take my acetate and adhere it here. So it'll be that, that, and then this will go right over the top, just like that. But I think I want the polka dots up. So it'll look just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere this down. Okay. Get that centered on there. There we are. And then with my tape. Here we go. From Stampin' Up. I am just going to adhere. Actually, I'm going to put this on the front so that it's covered up. And I'm going to put two pieces down. There we are. And take this. Peel that off. And peel that one off. And then I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll... there we go. All right, get that nice and straight. And then I'm going to take the tear and tape on the back of this piece here so that it does not come off and it holds that acetate in place. There we are. All 
right. Go ahead and adhere this down right over the top of that acetate. So there is the front of my card and then the inside. And then I will take and adhere my little coffee girl down. Oops. And I want her right there. And then I'm going to take this piece that I cut out that I didn't color. Oh, that's out of adhesive. Always have a backup. I'm going to flip that over and I'm just going to simply put this right on the back and that will cover up any adhesive. And then I'm going to take one of these. Any friend of coffee is a friend of mine. I think I'm going to stamp that. Get out my stamp platform. And I am going to do this upside down so that this does not get in the way. I think I want to stamp it right here. Let's see how that looks. Let me close my card. No, let's put that more over. Oh, let's put it more over here. So it's off to the side. There we go. Oops. Flip that over. Go ahead and pick that card up. Yep, that will look good. Go ahead and stamp that down. And I'm going to do just one more so I have nice crisp words. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off and take that off my platform. There we go. And voila. There is the first card. What do you think? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the second card. For the second card, we are going to be using the little boy, and we will be getting him. He's right here. I'm set that to the side. And I'm going to be using some Juan Fawn rainbow paper and some Paper Studio Ultra Thick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by scoring my card base at four and one fourth. There we are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut again four inches off the front. So I'm going to be left with three quarters of an inch. There we are, just like the last card. And then I'm going to cut this down to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to also cut this piece down to three quarters of an inch by five and a half. There we are. So that'll go on my little flap and set that aside. And again, we'll take my tear and tape from Stampin' Up and put two rows down. Ahead and peel that off with my piercing tool. And we'll take 
piece of acetate that I have already pre-cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And go ahead and put that down. And then we'll add two more pieces of tear and tape to cover up that adhesive. And then we'll sandwich that it acetate in between the two pieces, the cardstock and the printed pattern paper. There we are. Put the purple side to the bottom, line that up, and there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and adhere this. Oh, that one's out, that one's out. I am out of adhesive, so I guess we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go to a little bit of liquid adhesive, which is just fine. This is Art Glitter Glue. As long as you don't use too much, it doesn't tend to warp your paper. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the inside of my card. And I'm going to adhere my little boy to the front of my acetate with a little art glitter glue. There we go. And then I'll put a little glue on the one that I didn't color. to cover that up. And get him laid down. There we go. Now I am going to use the sentiment that says you make every day brighter. And get my platform back out again. I'm going to do this one sideways. And then I'm going to stamp this right inside the red stripe. Over to the right hand side so you'll be able to see it when the card is closed. There we are. Ink up that stamp. One more time so I have a crisper image. All right. Peel that off. And voila, there is a second card. The acetate cover. So cute. Okay. Last but not least, we have our puffer fish. Let's set this aside again. Bring back my puffer fish, and we're going to use again Paper Studio cardstock. This is heavyweight. And then this piece of paper is from one of the 6x6 six six pink and main pads. So start off by scoring this card base at four and a quarter. Then I will trim it so that I have three quarters of an inch left, just like the last ones. Okay, I don't need that. And then I will trim this down for my background, so I have this. I'm gonna go a little bit bigger on this one. I'm gonna go four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then for my border, I'm gonna go three and a quarter by five and a half. There we are. And all of these measurements will be on the screen for you in case you miss them. All right, tear and tape.
and ooh, piece of acetate. I'm going to go ahead and line that up. There we are. And then some more tear and tape. Go ahead and peel that off. Here we are. And stick this on. There we go. And then we will add a little liquid glue here. just love the bubbles on this paper. I thought it just matched so nicely with the puffer fish. All right. Go ahead and add him to the front of my card. There we are. And then go ahead and add his counterpart to the inside of my card. Cover up all that adhesive and coloring. There we go. Now for a sentiment, I think that the background is way too busy. So I think I'm going to take a piece of this leftover that I had and I'm going to stamp this, oops, I did it again, and then just adhere it to the bottom right there. So let's go ahead and get my trimmer out. And I'm gonna trim this to one and three eighths by four and one eighth. Okay, take my stamp platform, go ahead and open this up, put this down. This will go right here in the middle. Oh, wrong side of my platform. Let me try that again and flip it over to the rubber side. There we are. Put that card over there. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. Press and one more just for good measure. There we are. I'm going to clean that off. Oops, I did it again. No, I'm not going to sing. That would be horrible. Bring my card back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. right there at the bottom. There we are. Put my little needle back in my glue. Maybe. There we are. And there we are. There's three cards using the acetate front. Once everything's colored, the assembly went rather quickly. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit that bell to get any notifications. Again, this is Jamie with That's Incredible. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a fabulous day.